everyone, what is up and welcome to another video. So to make things easier because we're going to be talking about 50 ideas, I've broken it down into five categories. I'm a firm believer in setting like very specific goals rather than saying I want you to be healthier. I kind of want to give you guys like very specific ideas of how to do that. So let's start talking about some things that we can achieve in 2016. Have a salad three times a week. Instead of driving to work, opt out for a bike ride or a walk. Try a new healthy recipe every single week. Get a gym membership. Buy a juicer or a blender. Find a workout buddy to go to the gym with, so this can be someone who you already know, like a friend or a family member. Or you could even post an ad on Kijiji or I guess Craigslist, I think Kijiji is just Canadian. Try out a new eating style like vegan, vegetarian, paleo. Drink more water. Take up meditation. Join a sports activity at your school or community. And there's always ultimate frisbee. Become a morning person. I think that making a conscious effort to get up earlier than what you have to, like really just sends out such a good message. And honestly, you can get like so much more done when you become a morning person because it's like you have all those extra hours. Try out a workout dance class and I am like such a huge fan of Zumba. It is honestly so much fun. I've tried Shabam a few times too. And the premise is essentially like, you are a superstar. So you'll literally be doing moves that like Justin Bieber, One Direction, Ariana Grande would do. Go on a walk every single day. Stop drinking coffee or cut down on your coffee consumption. Strike up a conversation with a stranger once a day. We all start off as strangers. Say yes to every social event that you are invited to. Plan different outings and hangout time with family. Whenever you go out to a hangout or an event, make sure to make at least one contact. And even if you don't end up finding anyone there who you connect with, at least you tried and the potential was there. Get a dog or a cat, or just a pet in general. I know that sounds like a really weird one, but if you live alone, a pet can really give you a lot of companionship. It's like a surefire friend. Like your dog has to be your friend, right? Throw a party. Go to an event alone because it really forces you to meet new people and to get yourself out there. Reach out to old friends that you miss. Get a part-time job to meet people. Read a book about relationships. A very popular one is called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I also really like a book called 92 Ways on How to Talk to Anyone. So good. And lastly, volunteer at an organization. Get a magazine subscription to something that isn't like gossip or makeup or fashion. Of course you could get one for those, but there's a ton of different intellectual magazines. Take a free course online. I highly recommend the website called Coursera. I will have it linked down below. But you're gonna take classes online and a lot of the classes you get a physical certificate that you can actually use for jobs. And it's taken in real time, just like a real class would, and there's like messaging forums and stuff like that. Watch a new documentary every single day or once a week. Read a non-fiction book once a month. Watch a TED Talk video every single day. Take the time to learn about a topic that you've always felt uneducated in. For example, if you don't know that much about US history, take the time to learn about it in 2016. Start listening to podcasts. Learn a new language. Start a YouTube channel or a blog. Learn how to play a more confusing or strategic board game, like chess. Learn how to knit. DIY your apartment. Spend some time learning how to do hair or learning how to do makeup. Learn how to animate or edit videos. Try out a weird hobby like geocaching. And lastly, learn how to play a musical instrument. Go through your clothes and find stuff to donate to a women's shelter or to your friends or to your family. Organize that one closet that just has everything in it. And you cringe every single time you open the door. Yep, I definitely got one of those. Buy a planner. Create a cleaning schedule for you to do every single week. Organize your email inbox. Declutter your makeup collection. Organize your kitchen cupboards. And lastly, create a financial plan. Alright you guys, that is it for these New Year's resolutions. I really hope that this helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below if there was anything specific on this list that you would like to do. Or if you have any other ideas that weren't on this list. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media links. They are listed down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in 2016. Happy New Year everyone. Bye.